Hello folks, this is Stuart Woods here. I'm going to show you guys that I can't operate a screwdriver. Here, this is my subject. And here, here, next to the green thing, is a screw. Okay. Now, I will insert the screw. Um, now, insert the screw into here. There you have it. There you have it. A uh, razor jet screw. There's a Phillips head screw. There's a Phillips head screw. Okay. See, people? I know how to operate. I now I know how to operate. I know for 10 years how to operate a screw. Now, now I'm going to put the screw back on. Clockwise hang here and the screw is now secure. You tighten it, not, not too much. Tighten it, and there you are. There we are here. All right. All right, screwdriver. All right. Now to take off, now to take off a, um, now to take off, now I'll demonstrate that I know how to take off now I'll demonstrate how I can take off this part here. Alright, I'll take it off there. And I'll push that there. And then I'll push that like that. There. And that so. Here. And then I can take this part off. Here we are here. See? Different parts. Parts taken off. Alright. Then I'll twist it right here. It's right there. Then I push it on with this. Now it pops back on. And there you are. So, sensing. Now that is me sensing the printer. Now, next thing I'll demonstrate. Next thing I'll demonstrate that I can take off this top. I can take off this top. Alright? I'll demonstrate that. I'll give that a demonstration. Alright? I'll push the printer along here. Like this. And I'll take off the top. Then, next, next, I'll take off this top here. Take off this top here. Take that off. And I'll unscrew these screws here. Alright, like so. Like so. Now I'll show you that I can take off this top cover. Many people reckon I can't do it. Well, in this video, I will prove that I can. Here, 
in here. Add quick glues here. And there you are. That is me taking off the side cover. I can take off that soon. I can take that off too if I wanted to. But the amount of time I screw there, screw there, screw behind here, screws behind here, and screws at the back will remove this shell here, and you, you'll be able to access. You'll be able to access the. You'll be able. You'll be able to access the the um the screw here. Now you've got a screw behind here. You've got screws behind here. You've got a screw behind there. You've got a screw here. 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 You go, you go screw, you go screw here, a screw here, a screw it here at the back, and screw at the back, and that will take off this side bit. This will take off this component here. Slide off. It'll give you access to the main motor in the gear train. To remove the gear train, you must remove this component here and also the fuser, which is at the back of the machine. And to remove this component here, you have to remove, you have to take, unclip these two connectors here, unclip these two connectors here, takes a bit of work to take it off. Do it carefully, and here we are. Here is the paper. Here is the paper output. Here is the paper output assembly. Here with the belt, you can take off this component here. You can take off this component here, and you have you have this here. Now to replace these rollers there, you have to use a flat blade screwdriver. Use a flat blade screwdriver to put the flat blade screwdriver into here and just will dislodge that E clip this side. And you got the E clip there, you undo the E clip and you undo this E clip here and this will undo this white <laughs> These white things here, and you'll be able to take that off, and you will be able to replace the the rollers. But I might be doing it in this case because it takes so much trouble to put it back on again, and plus will make a little bit fly, and it's not even necessary to remove this component here. Now, once you've got your new rollers installed, you can you can put this assembly back in. Thanks a bit of trouble, thanks a bit of patience. Now you see these two lugs here and these lug here, there's a slit in the chassis and that must mate together. Now I've made it together. Now you just push that back in, and you should do it quick. And that's it. Now the now the paper output assembly is back in. Now the remove the out now to put the cover back on. Put the cover back on. You have this connector here. That's to the control panel, and you must reconnect that. Now how to, to re reattach the, the top cover, you got this here and this here, and you 
push it back again. There we are. There we are. I now I've got the black connect. Now I've got the cable here connected up back to the control panel. What I have to do is push that back in. Oops, forgot to put the connector back on. Now this is a common mistake that most people do. But let me just re dislodge that and just lift it here. Lift it off again. That's the most common error that people do. Now the rig to put this component back in, you push it, just push it in here. And you push it down, and this earth connector here must be back on the chassis, like that, like so. Then you put the color back on. Then put that back in. And now you don't need no longer need the tools. Oh god, what now? I get on the internet. Why? <sighs> you have to come in here at the worst possible time, don't you? Oh. You busy? Yes, I am busy. Alright, leave it till tomorrow then. Sorry about that. And then you got these things here. You have to push down like that. And turn the machine around. Now, the proof that it works. They're just doing the O5 self test. It's doing the self test, doing the realization. Now it's warming up. Now I'll do a test page. Now I'll do a test page to prove it works, okay? Okay, here's a common problem. Another common problem. We're installing the black top there. You can have a paper jam and the paper and the, all the lugs behind there can be pushed in. That's another common problem with this with this um, type of service when installing the output assembly.
Now to correct now to correct that now to, now to correct that problem you have to take off the top cover again. Now to correct that problem. That's a common problem in the laser jet for when you install these output assemblies, um, paper output assembly. Repeat the process again. Now I just um it is not it is not necessary in this case that this to take off the center to take off the top to take off the top and take off the control panel take off the control panel connector right here and you just push these little lugs push these little lugs make sure these lugs Make sure these little white lugs are touching the roller at the front to prevent a jam. Like here. There, uh, here. 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 And here. These four. These four. Little lights have to touch the roller there, like so. so we'll just do this, um, clear the jam, then you push that down, do it again, reconnect the control panel, reconnect the control panel, and push this thing. And make sure that part there. It's engaged with the chassis. Push that down. Push that down too. And then you got the, the top covers back on again. And you really just put down, put the screws back on. They have rebuilt fuser units as well. So that, that is a very, very long video to do. It takes me half an hour to take an hour of video time to do that. And I'll do that next month to rebuild a fuser. Now you just push that back. Again, then you put the solid cover back on again. Like right, the little rugs here, 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 and here. Make sure it's all engaged. Then you put the thing back on. Move the top. And you move the machine back, back in its original position. Mm 
Another problem when you install the top cover is that it forget to install or to forget to connect the control panel. Sometimes the technician will do the rough, really rough, really, really uh, rough job, and then they can forget to connect the control panel. That's another problem. That's another common thing you can have when you service one of these printers. Now. A quick, now a quick little way of doing it. A quick way of doing it. There you go. I do this all the time. Me all the time. You take off the back screw. I only do one of these, like, when you do a flat bed screwdriver, and you lift it up. And you push it there. There we are. Easy and simple. Easy and simple. Don't have to. Don't have to remove the whole pin and whole thing. Now we really do put the screws back on. Now you have to connect them wasn't put in properly. Now we put the screws back in. Screw back in and tighten it, but not too tight because we'll strip the thread. There we are, in there, and you put it in there, and you put it in, and put it in, and And you shut the toe and you shut the back and you push the quality corpus tray back in and then you put the machine back to the usual position. And you turn the machine on and then you check if the machine, then you check if the machine is working properly. Now, as you can see, the control panels there, and all the little lugs there is in the proper position. You can see in this video, you can see, as you can see, as you can see here, you can see here. Now you can see that all the lugs here, are here, here, and here, and here, are in the proper position. Now I will prove to you that the machine actually works this third time. You press the control panel online button. You press menu to go to the test to the test menu and you press enter to execute the self-test. And that's it. Problem solved. The printer is now working again. I just I show you that I can service laser jet printers, and I hope now this this video has now convinced you. Thank you for watching this video.